Hello Aquarius, how are you going? This is a tarot reading for the upcoming Mercury in retrograde in Aries, 1st to the 25th of April and let's dive in and see what's happening with Aquarius Sun Moon and Rising. King of Cups in reverse, Six of Rods reverse, Four of Rods in reverse, Page of Rods, Two of Cups, Three of Swords reverse, and the Hanged Man. The sweet love song that ended up in a missed chord on the bridge the vocal cords got strained a lot of action a lot of me 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 energy a lot of exciting news and then something real happened a true connection and then boom and what like you you like what <laughs> It's like the movie is over and the lights are on and you see all the popcorn on the floor and you're like, I thought this was all clean and tidy, but uh, it could be a sense of disappointment, Aquarius. You came into one set and you're leaving a different set altogether. Are you leaving? Maybe not, because uh, the things are still up in the air with the hanged man. All right, well, let's decipher this from the start. So the King of Cups in reverse with all this beautiful fire energy here. Energy of acceptance, self-declaration and of being heard. But who are you trying to impress? Who are you trying to impress? There's obviously feelings involved and you want to make it big and loud and wonderful and your intentions are good, but are you... Oh, I don't want to say it like this. It might sound a bit harsh, but like, are you emotionally mature to take on this entire Cirque du Soleil show and see it through? Or another question, is the other person emotionally available for uh, you to be seen and acknowledged and accepted and, of course, reciprocated too? Maybe there was uh, something in the past that happened and you kind of like trying to polish it up with this person during the Mercury retrograde. You're remembering things, how good it was, but now it's not. Or it, you have started something and by the time Mercury goes retrograde, each person are reflecting and deflecting and then this creates a disappointment. I just want to clarify this two of cups, who, who this person is. How are they feeling towards you? Knight of Pentacles and how are they feeling? Six of Swords. It's not your fault, Aquarius. It's all on them. I would suggest just have a talk of peace. This person is, is a bit shy, unsure. The whole bravado you put on them probably just scared them off a little bit. Or you are going to put a bravado on them and that's going to scare them off because they just want to be sure before they commit to anything. And uh, you, once you have an idea in your head, you just want to see it through. And this person didn't even have these ideas and they kind of feel... Like I just want to, I just want to come to the peaceful, calm place, like a quiet street, uh, and a, a contemplative cup of coffee will do. <laughs> and with the six of swords, if you're planning to visit someone you love, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in vain. But you will come out wiser and more flexible. Do you want that? It's a question. You need to ask yourself, what do you want and what is the other person saying to you? Listen to them, listen to them. Do not build the intrigue, just, just have a conversation and it's going to save you so much time. Because once the hanged man and at the end of the reading is here, oh, just uh, it's, it's just like stretching for the splits. It hurts. But in the end of the day, you're going to be more flexible. So, you know, everything has a price to it. The Empress in reverse. 
you have heaps of energy to spare. No matter what happens in the end of the day, you will still feel fine. Just understand that this entire situation is blocking your energy in some way. You have a whole ocean uh, to block, but there is like one huge river that's not flowing. So look at that. Look at that. Look at your resourcefulness and how you're spending your energy. Put those emotions to the side and I'm sure it will be easy for you to do. But because Mercury will be retrograding in Aries, it's going to be like, yeah, let's do it now. And today's the day now or never going to feel. And that would be the trap for many of us. So anything else for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising for this Mercury retrograde? Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Yeah, as I said, talk to the person if you want to get the result with the Eight of Pentacles. Work on these relationships. It's not a, this is not a death card. This is just a little tick that is just sucking on that blood. Remove it. And that comes from working on the relationship, being honest, being clear, and being faithful. Yeah. Wonderful reading for you. I am wishing you a great Mercury retrograde. Stay clear course and calculate in advance. No risk taking and be light, easy and do not shy away from a direct conversation. Say how you feel. Say what you want to do before making that surprise that is going to flop. <laughs> I do personal readings, uh, so more information in the description to this video. If this video has resonated, please uh, tap a like. It's uh, literally a free uh, gig. <laughs> it costs you nothing. And uh, I will see you in the next videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And let me know what you think in the comments. I'm giving you the biggest hug ever, Aquarius. You can do it and you've got this. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,